Microsoft recently rolled out a new feature in Windows 10 called Windows Sandbox. Now this feature is only available in the Insider's Preview Program, build number 18305 or higher. Now it's a pretty straightforward install. We just need to go to the control panel, open up the Windows Features dialog box, scroll down until you see Windows Sandbox, and then check the box. Now as soon as you hit OK, it's going to ask you to reboot. So I'm going to go ahead and do that, and I'll see you on the other side. Okay, we're back. Second way of installing the Windows Sandbox feature is use the PowerShell command line. I've got Windows VS Code open up as administrator. It's just a simple one line command, enable Windows optional feature, dash the feature name, which here happens to be containers dash disposable client VM. I know that's a mouthful, but that's just Windows Sandbox, dash all dash online. Now let's go ahead and execute this line. Again, it's going to ask you to reboot, and then I'll show you how to disable it once we're done. I'll see you on the other side. Okay, welcome back. We've got the Windows Sandbox installed. Let me go ahead and start it up for you. In order to start, we just use the Windows menu, type in Windows Sandbox, and there you have it. And remember, this is still in an insider's feature and still being worked on, so it may be slow. I expect to see some improvements when it's generally available later in April or May. Another thing to remember is anything you install in this will be deleted when you shut it down. It's not a persistent virtual machine. This is just to test some code, or if you want to download a suspicious file you want to try, or it's just a really quick way of getting an isolated environment up and running so you can do some testing and quick evaluations of some code that it may be suspicious of. Now that we've got it started, let's go ahead. I'm going to show you how to disable it. We'll go ahead and close this. To disable it, it's just a simple one-line command. Disable Windows optional feature slash feature name. And the feature name being containers disposable client VM online. Let's go ahead and execute that. And then again, it's going to ask us to reboot. I'll go ahead and do that. Okay. Welcome back. Now that we have Windows Sandbox uninstalled or disabled, let me show you open up the Windows menu again. And you see that it has been uninstalled. Pretty simple to enable and disable. Thanks for watching.